what's up guys it is another really really hot day in arizona it's 105 degrees right now and it is about 1 p.m and i just came to the post office to pick up a package and now we are gonna go on the hunt for a really good coffee shop there's one that i want to try hopefully we can make it because it closes at 2 p.m i personally hate when coffee shops open at like six and close at two because i don't wake up that early uh, but you know i guess it it's an incentive to wake up a little bit earlier but the the coffee shop that i want to go to is called homage coffee house um it's in the downtown phoenix area it has nothing but really good reviews and the coffee kind of sounds really good um from what i can tell by the reviews it's a vegan coffee shop so they have vegan pastries and all that good stuff so it's vegan friendly um, but the coffee did sound pretty good they have like toffee syrup coconut toasted coconut syrup it just all sounds so good um so i really want to try it i'm excited to try it i brought it up to my man he didn't think the coffee sounded too good but honestly i like flavored coffee like that so i'm super excited hopefully it's good because i'm in the mood for a really strong good tasting coffee that's still not too strong i love the taste of coffee but i don't want it to taste of black or anything i like a little bit of flavor in it i don't like like to overdo it with anything but i'm super excited i should probably start talk stop talking and start driving because it's 1 p.m i'm in um sun city arizona which is far from downtown phoenix so we have an hour to get there figure out what we want and order hopefully it's not packed hopefully it's open i gotta check if it's open because some i know are closed like on certain days okay i'm gonna check if it's open and if it is i'm gonna start driving there and then i will talk to you guys when we get there uh, okay um So you guys know how I said I was going to check if they were closed before I drove all the way down here? I guess somewhere along me getting in the car and turning the car on, I forgot to check. Um, and I drove all the way over here, right? Um, and they're closed, okay? It's closed. I drove all the way to downtown Glendale and it's closed I am so dumb I literally put gas wasted all that gas coming here and they're cl I am so dumb wow I was so excited to try it and they're closed Granted, there's like a lot of coffee shops down here, but dang, I really wanted to try that one. Why are you closed? What day is it? Tuesday? Why are you closed on a Tuesday? Ugh. Now I don't know what to do. I'm going to have to try it another day. And I hate driving in downtown Glendale because the roads are so weird. There's nothing but, nothing but cops driving around and I don't know. I don't like it that sucks oh my gosh you guys why didn't anybody remind me to say hey Taylor check if it's closed like I know I told myself but I'm so forgetful if you if you stay on my vlog channel and you are gonna stay and be part of the family watch my videos you are gonna find out that I am very forgetful very forgetful little fun fact about me I'm very forgetful I don't like waking up early I'm not the most organized person in the room that's for sure um, yeah so far these vlogs have been so fun you guys have found out how cheap I am how unorganized I am how forgetful I am oh my goodness I uh, so many things but yeah you guys I'm so sad I'm going to see if there's maybe another coffee shop that's interesting around. I don't know. I can't, I just can't believe it's closed. I can't believe that. I'm so sorry to let you guys down. I am going to check it out. I will come back. I'll probably come back tomorrow because I want to film this vlog for you. We are going to try Homage Coffee House. We are. We will. I will come back. But it's downtown glendale lots of little tiny shops here and we're on the search for the best cup of coffee okay the best cup of coffee and we're gonna find it okay i promise you it might take forever 
It might take two trips, but we will find it, okay? I'm gonna look up some coffee shops and then I'll let you guys know what I decide on, where we're going, you know, okay? Okay guys, I'm so glad I checked. Map says they are closed, but I see their homage coffee sign outside in the street. I'm like, why would they leave their sign out in the street if they're closed? Because this is downtown Glendale and somebody will steal it. Um, so I called and they're open seven days a week now. Wow, okay, I'm so glad I called. Okay, I'm really glad I called because I was so disappointed in myself. But they're open, so we are gonna actually try we're gonna try Homage Coffee House. I'm so excited. I'm nervous now because I don't know what drink. Oh. Again, I have anxiety now because other cars are pulling up. I guess we all got the memo that they close in 20 minutes, so. But yeah, I'm really excited now. I called, they're open seven days a week. So Homage Coffee House is open seven days a week now. Okay guys, here's the homage coffee house right here. Um, it's actually pronounced homage, so shout out to um, the workers for letting me know how to say it because I was like homage, homage. So it is homage, which is way more beautiful than homage. Um, but that's the building. It's a small little building right there, right in the middle. Okay, don't mind me, I'm sweating so bad. It is so hot out here. But this is my drink. I got the honeycomb latte. That looks so good. I haven't tried mine yet. And for my man, I asked what her recommendation would be because he likes the brown sugar shaken espresso from Starbucks. So something kind of comparable to that flavor wise. She suggested the Cine Dolce, which has cinnamon in it. And it also has caramel drizzle and stuff, but I told her no caramel because he does not like caramel drizzle and all that stuff in his coffee. I do, so I got a bunch of whipped cream, little bits, and chocolate drizzle in mine. But mine looks so good, so I'm gonna try it and then I'm gonna let you guys know if it is good. Let's crack this bag boy open. They were so sweet. So customer service in the homage is 10 out of 10. The building was really easy to find and it's really cute. I am actually gonna put in clips of what it looks like from the inside because it's actually really beautiful when you go in. They have really nice games for you to play. They have um, space for you to sit down if you come with your friends or a date. They have a nice little restroom area and their um, cafe area where they're making. Their coffee is so cute. They have pastries. Okay. This is the honeycomb latte, and they both have two shots of espresso in them. Oh, that is good. The honeycomb bits on top are so good. That's not what I expected when she said a honeycomb topping. I don't know why I expected like a drizzle or something, but it's actually little honeycomb crumbles. It's really good. If you like lattes that are not too sweet, more it's more like a latte with milk. Um, that's what it tastes like, like a pure regular latte. The taste is so subtly sweet. It's addicting to drink. It's literally addicting to drink. Wow. It's addicting to drink. I can't stop sipping it. It's so good. I actually want to try my man's, the Cine Dolce. Because that sounds pretty good too. It's so hard to describe because it's a, it's a little sweet, but it's not like sweet. It's creamy. It's milky. It's like sweet from like milk and real cream. It tastes so good. It doesn't taste like artificially sweet at all. It's so good. Oh, 
Okay, the Cine Dolce, that's bomb. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he's gonna like that. Mm. It tastes just like mine with cinnamon. It's so good. Oh my gosh, okay. If you like coffee, real coffee, this is a really good place. It's sweet, but there's no artificial taste in it whatsoever. I really like it. I really like this coffee. I'm gonna say the Homage Coffee House. So far, 10 out of 10 for customer service. Eight out of 10 for coffee. Eight out of 10. And this is our first coffee vlog. This is our first coffee shop. And so far, we're doing good homage you guys are killing it your customer service is amazing shout out to the workers because the um the girl in there was so sweet the, um, the gentleman in there was very sweet as well you guys were so polite i appreciate it they let me record um they let me take pictures of their products they were very nice about it and the coffee is really good i like i'm trying not to drink all of it i'm like i can't stop sipping it I don't know what you guys are putting in here but it's pretty good it's weird it's so sweet but it's not fake sweet oh my gosh but yes you guys 8 out of 10 coffee 10 out of 10 customer service I will definitely be back based on that customer service alone they are so sweet I literally went in there 20 minutes before it closed and they still just helped me and they helped me pick drinks they asked me what kind of drink I'm looking for they recommended their top sellers um, their pastries looked really good. They still had a really good amount of stuff for about to close um, But yes, you guys I'm so excited. This was our first coffee try the homage It is in downtown Glendale. So if you have a chance you should stop by it's really good and I bet you'd have a really good time Okay, guys, I'm finally back home So you guys already know how I feel about the coffee that I got I'm going to show you guys my husband trying his coffee and he's going to let you know his verdict on the homage coffee that he got. Again, I got the honeycomb and he got the cinnamon dolce, I think, cinna dolce, something like that. But I'm going to show you guys what his rating on is the co- oh my god. I'm going to show you guys what he thinks about his coffee. Hi, babe. Hi. Okay. So, I just brought you back the homage coffee. Can you show me the name on the cup? Alrighty, homage coffee house, and you got the Cine Dolce. What out of 10 would you rate your coffee? Um, brown sugar shake and espresso enthusiast. I would have to give it probably like an eight or a nine. Eight or nine out of 10. Wow, okay. Would What's the you... place we got yesterday? The 808 Social. Yeah, that place was good, but I feel like it was too sweet. This is kind of more like coffee. Like, kind of, kind of tastes, tastes more like coffee. But it kind of gives that, like, brown sugar shake and espresso feel. But not as not as sweet. I don't really know. I just like it. It tastes good. Okay, yours has two espresso shots in it. When you drink it, can you feel it a little bit, like, does the espresso give you a little, espresso give you a little bit more energy? Or is it just more for the flavor? Cause I know a lot of people want to know, is it going to give me the kick I need or is it just going to taste good? Mm. To be honest, I don't really feel espresso cause I drink five shots of espresso in my brown sugar shake espresso. Oh jeez. So I don't really know. I just like, I feel like I'm a, I can drink espresso and then go to sleep, so. You're so cute. Awesome, so we're gonna give it, what's your final, eight or nine out of 10? Eight and a half out of 10. Eight and a half out of 10 <laughs> for the homage. So would you go back? Yeah, I'd go back. Would you try something different or would you stick to this drink? I'd probably just get the same thing and then just try whatever you got. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like to waste money on things that I don't, I don't like taking risks, so. <laughs> That's funny. Nice, playing it safe. Can I take a picture of you with your coffee? Sure. Nice, okay, hold it up. <laughs> hold it up, cause this might be my thumbnail. <laughs> He's so cute. He got this Sin Dolce, eight and a half out of 10. He would go back, he would get the same thing. He wouldn't try anything new unless I got something new. But so far I gave it an eight out of 10 and he gave it an eight and a half out of 10 for the homage in downtown Glendale. Um, so again, you guys, 
10 out of 10 for customer service. So if, if you're nearby, you should definitely try and stop in. Alrighty guys, that's the end of this video. We tried the homage coffee shop eight and eight and a half out of 10. So, so far really good for our first coffee adventure together. That's downtown Glendale homage. Um, I'm still on the search for the best coffee I've ever tasted. And so far we're not there yet, but we're super, super close to homage. It's so good. I think for the first time going out and trying something new for you guys, it was definitely a hit. Um, I would definitely go back just for the customer service itself and shout out to the lady that helped me because she did subscribe to my YouTube channel So thank you so much. I appreciate it. Welcome to the family Don't forget to like and share this video if you want to go try this place with your friends Subscribe to our channel so you don't miss our Arizona coffee hunt because we will find the best cup of coffee ever So you don't have to Alrighty guys, I'll see you in my next video. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up if you like this kind of video and bye <laughs>